Welcome to Computing at Home with Digital Schoolhouse. Here we're delivering out-of-the-box computing activities that are accessible, educational and fun. To all learners watching, remember you can pause the video at any time to take notes, collect your thoughts or take part in the activity alongside me. Parents and guardians, you might want to watch the next bit as it explains how to access our resources, but after that feel free to join in or sit nearby to supervise if you want to. Let's get started. For this activity you're going to need some Play-Doh or if you don't have Play-Doh at home you can use our salt dough recipe. Also you're going to need a copy of our image cards. You can find the link for these at the bottom of the video. Alternatively if you have something like Creationry you can use this instead of the cards. If you'd prefer to access our resources via our website, head over to digitalschoolhouse.org.uk, click on Resources, scroll down the page and find Playful Computing Activities and click on Activity Resources, click on Discover More and find Making Faces Play-Doh Programming in the list below. Then all you need to do is click on the Making Faces 2019 PDF and you'll find there is a presentation that contains all of the different um, images that you can use for the Making Faces activity. Alternatively, you can click on the magnifying glass, type in Making Faces Hit search and the activity will be the first item in the search results. Click on the link and it will take you into the resources page. Feel free to pause the video now and collect your resources together. So what are we going to learn by completing this activity? Well this activity links to all five of the computational thinking skills, algorithmic thinking, decomposition, abstraction, generalisation and evaluation. Don't worry if you've not heard of those words before, I'll explain more after the activity. Right, make sure that you've got your Play-Doh at the ready because you are going to be following my instructions to create something from our selection of items. So first thing that you're going to do is you're going to split your Play-Doh into six identically sized balls. I'm going to be doing this as we go along so I can show you what I end up with and hopefully it will match what you've created at home. So I'm just creating um, six identically sized spheres, um, which is just fancy speak for balls. So six identically, identically sized balls of Play-Doh. Okay, I've created those. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take one of the spheres that you've created and you're going to create an oblong that is roughly uh, five centimetres long. Okay, so an oblong that's roughly five centimetres long and it's about a centimetre in diameter, pretty much. Okay, put that to one side. Then take one of the other balls that you've created and you're going to create an oval um, that is uh, probably about a centimetre thick and it is going to be about um, five centimetres in length and two centimetres um, in width. So an oblong, about a centimetre thick, two centimetres wide and five centimetres um, in length. Okay, and you're going to create three more identically sized and shaped pieces. So exactly the same again, about a centimetre thick two centimetres wide, five centimetres long, and create uh, four in total that are exactly the same. I'm just going to do my third piece now. There we go. And I'm going to create one more. So remember, oops, one centimetre in thickness and two centimetres wide, five centimetres long. Okay, and the last ball that you have left, the last uh, sphere you have left, you're going to split that into two smaller spheres and you're going to take one and you're going to roll it to create a long piece of um, Play-Doh and it's probably about 10 centimetres long and 
uh, probably about uh, a diameter of about half a centimeter. Then what you're going to do from one end, you're going to create a little spiral, and you're going to spiral it down to about halfway down the um, the piece that you've just created. And you're going to put that to one side, and you're going to take the other piece, and you're going to do the same thing with that. So a long piece of play-doh, a long ob oblong, um, that's roughly half a centimetre in diameter, and then you're going to spiral it in from the top to about halfway down. Okay, there we go. Right, now you have all your pieces, we can start to construct what, what, what I've been asking you to create. So what you're going to do is you're going to take those two pieces that have got the spirals at the top, and you're going to make it so that the, the long side, um, those, the long side of each one is pushed together. So it's almost like that both is like a mirror image on each side. So put them together and then you're going to stick those at the top of the um, oblong that you created first, the five centimeter oblong. Then you're going to take your pieces that are the um, ovals and you're going to put them landscape. So that means that they're like long ways and you can put the landscape on top of each other, just two of them. And then you're going to put that on one side of the oblong that you created first. And then you're going to do the same thing with the other two. Um, I've just dropped one on the floor, so I just need to pick it up. Okay, so the same thing as before. They are um, landscape on top of each other, so they're long ways on top of each other. And then you put them, again, on the other side of the oblong. So you should have two on one side and two on the other side. Now, hopefully, if you followed my instructions and my instructions are good enough, you've created a butterfly. Okay, I'll show you what mine looks like. So hopefully yours looks something like mine. Um, I'm just going to put it on my hand, so bear with me a second while I just lay the pieces out. So you should end up with something that looks a little bit like this butterfly. There we go. Okay, whoops. <laughs> you get the idea. So hopefully you've created a butterfly and it looks something like mine, and my instructions were good enough for you to follow and create something that looked vaguely butterfly-like. Okay, so what we're going to do next for this activity? Well, you're going to pair up with someone and test how good you are at giving instructions. So choose one of the items from our selection. Ask your mum or your dad or a brother or sister to sit back to back with you. You give the instructions as they follow them to create something out of Play-Doh and see how well you perform at giving instructions. Then maybe swap round and let them give you the instructions to create something. Or why not try creating one of the images from our selection using the pen extension in Scratch? Then if you create something, why not share it on Twitter or on Facebook? Ask your parent or guardian how they can go about doing that. Let's have a look at what you've learned. You've learned about algorithmic thinking. That means that you've thought about how to make your instructions really clear and precise so you end up with something that actually looks like what you intended it to. You've also thought about decomposition. You thought how to separate the picture into its component parts and then thought about how those pieces need to go back together. You've also thought about abstraction. That means that you filtered out unnecessary information. So for example, you probably didn't worry about the colours included in the picture. You went for one colour like I did with my butterfly. You've also thought about generalisation. So for example, when you decided what shapes you were going to need to use, you probably went for a generalisation of those shapes. You talked about ovals, you talked about circles, you talked about oblongs, and you used the general idea of the shape for what was needed in the picture that you were going to be creating in Play-Doh. And finally, you've used evaluation. You've thought about how well your instructions came across, and you probably refined them and made them better. And that's all about evaluation. Thank you for taking part. Hope you've had fun and learnt something new. If you have any questions or feedback for me, please email dsh at uk.org.uk. Now, we'd love to see you learning computing at home with Digital Schoolhouse. Parents and guardians, please feel free to share any images or videos using the hashtag computing at home on Twitter or on Facebook. You can find our contact information in the section below or at the end of this video. Lastly, I wanted to say a huge well done for taking part today. I'm Estelle and I look forward to seeing you next time.